All right, bud. So I'm going to show you here, or I should say review what we talked about here. Um, so I have it in manual mode, as you can see. And I have my Tamron 17 to 28. And right now it's obviously there's a lot of light right there. So I have my ISO dialed in at 100. Um, it was already like that. There's no particular reason why, but the aperture is open all the way at 2.8 and the shutter is really slow. Obviously too slow because that is telling you, dude, you are over two stops. Remember, this needs to be zero. So if I want to shoot at 2.8 um, and I can't lower this anymore. I mean, you can, but you don't want to because base ISO is 100. So here is where you would manually dial in and your shutter obviously is right here. Your aperture is the dial in the front and that's default when you buy the camera. Remember to keep your ex uh, exposure compensation to zero. So as I speed up the shutter, you can see now that it is far more look at all the detail in there look at that right and now we're basically at zero and you can see all the detail um everything right um now i would do this only if um my subject wasn't moving if i had the time to set it look how much time that took for me to get the correct exposure when I wanted to shoot at 2.8. Let's go back to what was that? Let's just do uh, 1 over 50 even though you really wouldn't shoot like that, right? Your only other option to get that to zero, right, is to close your aperture. All right, let's go fine. And you can see, looks like about F10, all right? So <clears throat> this type of setting is generally F10. I mean, landscape photographers uh, generally shoot at this. And if you remember how I described aperture, it'll impact how you, the background of your, of your uh, image looks like, um, you know, whether it's blurry or not. So remember, front to back. So F10, this is what I shoot models at, remember, in the studio because I want the front to the back of them in focus because I paired for, paid for hair and makeup. But not to get off the topic here, in manual mode, when you, are, when you have the time to adjust your settings based on whatever aperture you're trying to shoot at, so, I mean, a lot of people want to shoot at a faster aperture. So again, we'll have to do this, right? and speed it up, I think it was 500 that got us there. There you go, right there. Now, if we go to aperture priority, remember that it's you're basically telling the camera, I am adjusting the aperture you control, or the camera controls the um, ISO and the shutter. In this particular case, I told it that I want it to be at 100. So then I'm essentially surrendering the shutter. And as you can see, it mimics um, what we were just at in manual uh, settings. Um, so now if I adjust my aperture, right? If, uh, if I adjust my aperture here and I close it, look at what happens to the shutter. It slows down. It has to, because remember, you're closing the window on what available light can come in. So we've closed it to 7.1. Let's keep closing and closing to the maximum, which is F22, which again, nobody really shoots at that. You're at one tenth of a second, okay? On the other hand, if you open the shade, right, all the way, So now the shade's wide open specific to this lens. It's a 2.8 maximum aperture. So the shutter says, all right, you're going to open up that much shade and let in that much light. I'm going to 
speed up the shutter to compensate because again, the ISO is set to 100. Watch what happens when we put the uh, ISO to auto, okay? And see how that changes. Now when I, it's 100 right there because remember the computer in the camera says you probably want to shoot at 100. So what happens when I close the shutter, okay? Let's go to, I don't know, 16, right? Look at that. 400 160 okay so the computer is trying to the computer is only trying to get to zero it doesn't know that maybe you want to shoot you know what, what type of image you're trying to create right so back to here again 100 500 which is the same we were just in in manual all right so this should give you an idea an understanding of how aperture and shutter impact when you are trying to shoot at 100 and as you understand as we spoke earlier or uh, the other day you want to try to shoot at 100 especially if you're shooting a person because it's going to give native in terms of skin texture etc tones is different tones uh you can create different tones using different uh, presets and stuff that's a different all right so this should help you understand um, how aperture works in conjunction with shutter and remember, the faster your shutter, the more it'll freeze. The slower your shutter, it'll let in more light, keeping your ISO down, but you're going to sacrifice blur. So this is the practice you're going to have to really work on to understand in different scenarios.